President Biden today urged Hamas to agree to a new ceasefire offer from Israel, a proposal that would see the release of surviving hostages being held by the militant group in exchange for a pause in the Gaza war. The president referred to it as a roadmap to end the deadly conflict, calling on Hamas leaders not to, quote, lose this moment. The plan would release hostages in stages, beginning with women, the sick and elderly, during a six-week ceasefire. That could be extended to allow for more humanitarian aid into Gaza and while negotiations play out for the release of additional hostages, eventually also to end the war. The president's remarks come as the Israeli military confirms its forces have moved into central Rafah, despite international backlash and anger from allies to scale back the offensive in the southern city. After, over the weekend, an Israeli airstrike killed dozens of displaced Palestinians sheltering in a tent camp. Melissa Rose Cooper spoke with New Jerseyans whose families were there. What surprised me is um, that we continue just to, to watch. Um, we, we keep saying um, we want to help. We keep saying that we want to send humanitarian aid. We keep saying that we need to do medical relief. We've placed red lines that, you know, don't mean anything. Dr. Adam Hamaway expressing his disappointment following last weekend's Israeli strike on a Palestinian tent camp in Rafah, killing dozens. Hamaway, who owns this plastic surgery clinic in Princeton, just returned home after spending three weeks in Gaza providing humanitarian relief with the Palestinian American Medical Association. I saw daily suffering. I saw, you know, children that are burned and uh, wounded much more than I'd seen in the past. Um, I saw people that were displaced from their homes. Uh, I saw whole families that came in together. Uh, I've seen mass casualties in the past where people would come in from injuries from different disasters or accidents, but this was whole families coming in, you know, parents, children, uncles, grandparents, um, all in the emergency room at the same time. Now Hamaway is joining other New Jerseyans in calling on the U.S. to do even more to help end Israel's continued strikes in Gaza, despite the president's plea for a ceasefire today. I want anybody who's watching to really put yourself in the shoes of somebody who's there, displaced once again into a small camp with no food, no access to water, and bombs dropping on your head. There's no defense, there's nothing that you can do to save yourself. It's just, you're at the, the mercy of somebody else and at any moment, the tent next to you or the, 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 the family that you've known your whole life is now gone. Sammy Chauvin has lost nearly 40 members of his family since the war in Gaza began. He also has loved ones living in Rafah and fears for their safety every day. Thousands of people are dying and being killed with bombs that are being funded by our tax dollars. We have people in our own country that do not have health care, that are starving on the streets, but we are sending over artillery and funding it, and then it's dropping on my family and killing them. Our administration needs to absolutely stop. The world is telling our country that we need to stop our support for these bombs that are dropping on kids. Frustration and anger is an understatement. Basma Basharat is the Palestine Education Director at the Palestinian American Community Center. She says the attack on Rafah is a strong reminder of the importance of speaking out for what's right. So the organization has been encouraging people to make their voices heard at the polls. We've been doing a uh, phone banking uh, push all week. So we've had people coming in every day to the center. We've had people going out to um, local voting locations. Um, PAC's been doing this, a lot of other great community organizers are doing this, and we're just trying to tell people, you know, we have the voice, and now more than ever, we have to use it. But even though lives continue to be lost, advocates like Hamaway are still holding on to hope that peace in Gaza will come soon. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.